Hello, this is the trade site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, the 17th of July, 2018. What a dead day. Absolutely a waste of time. 1.6 billion, not even that, on the NASDAQ at the close. There was some volume afterwards because Netflix reported earnings and plunged, and that'll take the futures down overnight quite a bit. We're already looking at a big 68-point drop on the NQ before I record this. Uh, but at the end of the day, the session itself was pretty flat. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market and futures form. Nothing here. So let's look at uh, the major indices. Then we'll look at the intraday action, talk about the data for tomorrow, and then go from there. But keep in mind, this is a summer week with options expiration. Here's the CL crude oil. Uh, so after making all the way back up near 75, it plunged today. Got down near about 68 bucks. Gold down or up a buck 50, but up that's near multi-month lows. The S&P cash literally down 2.5 points, 2.88 actually, which is nothing. The NASDAQ was down 17.92, which is also a blip, and that's before the uh, Netflix news that shot it down after uh, the close. Stocks down 1.59. Biotech's down 27.72. The VIX gained 65 cents. Trend at 0.81. That takes the 10-day moving average to 0.97, but we've got a couple of higher readings still on there that keep that moving average up. NASDAQ volume, 1.7 billion it shows, but that includes 15 minutes of the post market. It was 1.6. This is the lightest volume day we've had except for the day before, the half day before uh, 4th of July. So uh, this doesn't bode well for the week, especially with options expiration, but this is kind of the hardest summer and we'll get to it after that. Uh, advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ was negative uh, 620. More stocks down than up. On the New York, it was negative 929. Google Lost seven dollars and ninety-one cents. Apple down forty-two cents. Netflix gains four dollars and sixty-eight cents to four hundred forty-eight. But again, it's down like sixty points in the aftermarket, so it's going to be a down opening there near the three forty level. Uh, well, we'll see. You don't even know. It could open anywhere in the morning. By the way, note the thirteen sell signal on Netflix just a couple of days ago, right before we got this. Very interesting. First time in a long time. Uh, Amazon gets a thirteen sell signal as well, but it closed up nine dollars and forty-six cents but it's still operating under that sell signal. Tesla loses $8.77. TLT, 20-year bond ETF, uh, which got to 12, not a 13 on the uh, seeker count, closes down 51 cents. Goldman Sachs up $5.03, bouncing off the lows. Big inverted cup here. Be interesting if this cracks the lows. In terms of intraday action, look at this. So open flat, drifted lower, didn't do anything. Range for the day is less than 10 points on the ES. That's the first time we've seen that in a while. Here's the NQs again. The first hour here was even worse, and then it drifted lower. You know, just an uneventful day. There wasn't much to do, and maybe we're going to be like that for a week or so and then get back to work, but we'll see. Hopefully you get Tuesday and Thursday with some action, and we maybe get an options unraveling move on Wednesday. In terms of economic uh, data this week, obviously it's a pretty uh, light week. We don't have a ton to hang our hat on. Uh, but on Tuesday, we've got capacity utilization and industrial production 15 minutes before the bell. The Fed Chair Powell is speaking 30 minutes into the market to Congress today and tomorrow. NAHB housing market index at the same time and tick long-term purchases at the close. So there's not a lot of data, but maybe a little more action than what we saw today, just based on the speech from the Fed. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks of a great trading